Never Stop Learning, week 215. We're going to take a quick look at how to apply a gradient fill to live text in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so the reason I wanted to create this video was a lot of people don't really know that you could apply a gradient to live text. They end up outlining their text, and then it becomes a problem if they have to go back and make some changes. So I'm going to show you a new way to work. I'm going to hit the T key on my keyboard to activate the type tool. Click once on my document and then just type out some text. I'm going to type in Adobe Grind, Command Enter, and get rid of that caps lock. I'm going to make this text larger, then Command Shift C to center justify my text. All right, so now I'm ready to apply this gradient. On the bottom left side of my screen, at the bottom of the Tools panel, you're going to see that I have the fill activated. That means it's on the top and it has a black swatch applied to it. Over on the right, I got my swatches panel, and I'm gonna click on this guy right here. It's called Sky, it's a default swatch. Just click on it once, and notice nothing happens to my text, but it is showing up on the bottom section of the tools panel. All right, so what you wanna do is go into the appearance panel. Anytime you wanna know about what's going on with your artwork, you wanna look in the appearance panel. All right, because I am gonna apply different fills and strokes to this, I wanna double click on characters. In here, I'm gonna get rid of this fill. Now, this is just my workflow. Whenever I'm applying like gradient fills to live text, or let's say I wanted to apply double stroke to this, I would come into the characters, remove the stroke, and remove the fill. Once I've done that, I'm gonna to come to the top of the panel and double click on type no appearance. All right, that's showing me type, characters, and opacity, but currently I do not have a fill and I do not have a stroke. At the bottom of the appearance panel, I'm going to click on this guy right here that says add new fill. All right, so it applies a stroke, but it doesn't have an appearance. So we'll tuck this guy away. It has a fill, and this fill, it has a black swatch applied to it. I'm going to click on the drop down so I can find this sky gradient again. Clicking on it once is going to apply that blue gradient to my live text. All right, so now we got a gradient here. Let's make some changes to it. I'm going to hit the period key on my keyboard. It's going to bring up the gradient panel. And currently the type is set to uh, linear. I'm going to click on this little drop down so I can switch over to radial. All right, that looks better. Now I still want to make some more edits, so I'm going to hit the G key. That's going to bring up the gradient tool. And now I could reposition this guy because I have that tool activated. And now it looks like the gradient is radiating from the upper left section of the text. All right, so I'm going to hit the T key on my keyboard. Now this is all live text, so you could always come back in here and make some more changes. So instead of Adobe Grind, I'm going to just select that text, type in Sebastian Bleak, Command Enter to accept that change, get rid of the caps lock, and notice this text still has that same gradient applied to it. I'm going to hit Command T, and that's going to bring up the character panel, and I'm going to switch this font over to a thicker font. All right, there you go, that looks good. Let's get rid of these panels. And there you go. So I just wanted to show you guys how you could apply a gradient to live text to kind of speed up your workflow in case you need to go back and make some changes in the future. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at how to apply a gradient fill to live text in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.